Introducing, ladies and gentlemen, the young man that's had over 35 soul classics. Among these classics are tunes that will never die. Tunes like Funky, Lock It Raw, Set It Off.
His buddy Larry Abus Jr. I have not seen him either. Where do those two jabronis go off to? I, don't I have know. no idea. I don't either. However, show must go on. Uh, written by a man named Freddie Mercury. Uh, you know, Englishman. But um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, that, that's all I'll say about that. But uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> I did all I'll say. Ladies and gentlemen, you know how we do. This is the Watchtower, and we begin with the weekend box office. Ho, ho, ho. So what we want to do first here, we want to talk about that Civil War. And I'm not talking about Captain America fighting fucking, you know, 
Iron Man. The rap like geek this. that's going on right now. Yeah, you know, ladies and gentlemen, how about mm-hmm. this? We might actually get into a war after that shit Iran pulled. And if I'm Jerusalem, I might want to sit this one out. No motherfuckers is cool with the Russians and the Chinese. Take five on that. So anyway, as you can see, Civil War was number one in the box office this weekend. It overtook Godzilla x Kong, which Godzilla beat the shit out of Kong, but some people won't hear that. However, anyway, it was followed by Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire, Kung Fu Panda 4, which wanted to keep making three more of these things, Dune Part 2, which seems to still be hanging on, Monkey Man, apparently that's where we came from, says Parker, The First Omen at number 7, The Long Game at 8. Shrek 2, a re-release, and you know we're desperate at 9, and at 10, Suga, August, D, Tour, Day, Movie. Uh, well. No idea what the that was. Me either, Rick said that's trash. So anyway, I want to talk uh. about Civil War. I went and took my little jabronis, and we, uh, we went to go see this, this movie, this Civil War movie. Which it's like basically California and Texas decided, you know what? We are sick of the president's shit. He canceled the FBI and basically they called themselves the Western Forces. You know, Western Forces were moving towards the East and they were taking no names and kicking ass. And and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, <laughs> hit the like button. The movie kind of sucked. I, I didn't really like it. It was a few good scenes in it. We met up with a guy that kind of reminded me of Ridge, and he did some redneck type shit where he lined people up in a line, kind of like Negan did, and was like, what kind of American are you? And the dude said, I'm from Hong Kong. Bam, dead. And then he got another guy. He said, hey, what kind of American are you? And he said something. Bam, shot his ass too. So we did have a Ridge type character in the movie. And, you know, it's, I mean, here's the problem with movies like this. They make people think that this can happen in our country in fucking possible first of all before the united states will let california and texas try to fucking take over the whole country they would have nuked those bastards fucking five minutes ago so you know you don't have resources to do that but it was like i heard people coming out of the theater talking about well what if this happened oh this could happen if trump gets in office or this stop 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 that this is make-believe this is art some of it, I guess you can call it art. I mean, it is what it is. I um, I didn't like it too much. There were some good scenes in the movie. And again, no movie's perfect. This movie definitely was not perfect. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. If I can compare it to like uh, movies, like a movie genre like this for you guys to go see. Any of you guys ever see those? Um, what are those movies where they let you kill each other for one day? Uh, the fucking the, the what is that called, bad man? The Purge. Yes, the, the purge. purge. Yes, like this is some kind of like I don't want to call it the Purge, but I mean it kind of is. You know, Armageddon. The country's all fucked up. You know that kind of shit. Like Purge, I would say. You know, it's something like that. Like if you watch the Purge movies, if you like the Purge movies, you would probably want to see something like this or vice versa, where they're telling you that the government is up to some weird shit. However, this is the greatest country in the world. I don't know what that's all about. I am a patriot, so I don't condone this kind of bullshit. But, I mean, it had a few good scenes in it and some unbelievable scenes. And it always makes you wonder, well, it at least made me wonder about press during wars. People walking around with actual cameras, taking pictures of, of people shooting each other and killing each other to put in a magazine. And I guess that, that obviously that really happens. And you see the shit they go through. Sometimes they got Kevlar or helmets and shit walking around. And, you know, that to me, if I had to give it a score out of 10, I would give it a a 6. I would give it a 6. Oh, okay. Yeah, i give it a 6. It's a D. Um, I, yeah. Hey, a D's passing, right? Well, not in my son's high school. It's not. Not when you pay ten dollars. Okay. 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 I mean, it's they. They tried. They now. I tell you what does look good. This movie called Maxine. I saw the trailer for that, where like the Night Stalker and she's like a porn star and she wants to become like a uh, a, a horror star and to be a big movie star. I, I, I'm definitely want to see that Maxine movie. That that to me looks like something that the Rick will be interested in. 
But, you know, at Civil War, it looked dope. The tra- when I saw that trailer, the Civil War, bro, I was locked in. I'm like, man, I got to see this movie. And it's going to be, you know, hell and, 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 and stuff. And, and, and it moved very, very slow. And the payoff just wasn't there. But, I mean, hey, look, some people liked it. Um, in fact, uh, 25 million people. Well, in dollars, amount paid. So, I guess so. But I would bet money that this movie would not be number one at the box office next weekend, especially with the spring break and shit coming out. I think that, uh, I don't know what's coming out, but Godzilla, it might be number one again, depending on uh, what's released, because uh, I had more excitement watching uh, that. Uh, Anybody, any thoughts on Civil War? Were you guys looking forward to seeing it? Did you guys see the trailer? Um, what do you think of these little box office numbers when Godzilla opened up a few weeks ago, well, last week at 80 million, and now you see the top seven can't even accumulate 80 million. So, I mean, that's, that kind of lets you know, like basically the, 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 the box office, at least in America, as we can see is feast or famine. I mean, but, Rick, from, from what it sounds like. Um, you describing Civil War? We, I think most of us seen it already. We call it January sixth. So, I mean, oh yeah, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. good one, yeah, like storming the Capitol. Yeah, they, they kind of did, like, yeah, he's right. Like, it was like it all started like they were storming the Capitol, and the president fired, you know, weapons and killed Americans like on TV and shit. He didn't care, and he disbanded the FBI, and you know that kind of weirdo stuff was going on. I mean, it was like. I don't know, bro. It, it wasn't for me. Not meant for me. For me. For me. I'll pass. But it's too late. They got my $57. <laughs> God damn. So, anybody else looking forward to Civil War before we get off of this topic? Anybody? Go on once. Go on twice. I want to ask people. I want to do a poll. See, did they see that Civil War trailer? Because um, that's what got me to go. Yeah, I, I saw the, tra- the trailer. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm ready to go, bro. I was like, yeah, here we go. Fight the power. Here we go. Uh, eh, kind of didn't live up to it. But anyway, that's that. Please get your vote in on if you saw the Civil War trailer. And uh, Rick, do you know who's in the movie? Um, uh, The fat black guy is the news thing. Uh, some little girl. Um, the lady that played uh, Mary Jane, and she looks terribly old now. Kristen Dunst, I think her name is. Okay. Yeah, she's in there, and um, I forgot who the the Florida Spanish guy. I, I forgot his name. Um, he was in there too. So, yeah, I uh, they could have did, they could have did better. Fuck it. I, I wonder what the Rotten Tomatoes were for this. Let me check this out. And the Rotten Tomatoes score for Civil War is 82%. Hmm. Wow. The audience score, 77%. I always told you guys, when there's a disconnect between the Rotten Tomatoes score and the audience score, there's something there. There's something, something's not quite right. So it seems like it's mixed. Yes. Because okay. Usually, when you can tell, like, when an audience, is, like, usually if a movie is is bad, like a Rotten Tomato score, I've seen Rotten Tomato scores in the 50s or 40s, and the audience scores like an 80-something. Okay. Okay? Now, in this case, you have a movie that's an 80-something, but a 77 viewership score. So that lets me know that there's a disconnect there. There's something wrong here. You know, tough and unsettling by design, Civil War is a gripping close-up look at the violent uncertainty of life and a nation in crisis. All right. So, you know, these these are the reviews that, yeah, you know, they're not... Oh, all hold up. Yet. Rick, Rick, Rick. Explain explain this to me. Where's the disconnect? There's only 5% difference. Well, this was well, almost the I'll, same. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because you usually... I'll tell you why there is a disconnect. Because usually it's... If it's an 80... Like we like I said this, I think it was many, many shows ago. If it's an eighty something rotten tomatoes, right, and you believe that, the score, the audience score is usually above that. See what I'm saying? You follow me here? Or cause I've seen movies like um Suicide Squad, when the disconnect is 
Suicide Squad got, we'll pull it up. They had Rotten Tomato score was low, but the audience score was high. What I'm showing here with the 77%, the audience wasn't feeling this movie. They weren't. They kind of like I was, like where I gave it, eh, you know, a, a, I gave it a 6 out of 10. I didn't think it was that good of a movie. It The pacing was off. Um, yes, there were some nice gory scenes, but it was far and few in between. Most of the time, Got these it. people are on a road and there's a lot of dialogue, backstories. Why did you want to become press? Why did you want to become a photographer in war? They got a little girl there with them. You got a big, um, heavy set black guy who's like a journalist. They wanted to get to DC and get a quote from the president or get an interview with the president before the shit hit the fan. DC got surrounded by the Western forces and they took his ass out. So that's, you know, and they're not all in yet. I mean, it's 259 reviews, but. I, I I didn't think it was a good film. I thought it was an okay film. There's there's good, you know. I tell you what, this got an eighty two. What did the Marvels get? Because this is what I like to compare stuff to. So the Marvels, so check this out. So the Marvels, see this is what I want to compare it to. See, look at this. Now, see this is what I mean, dudes, dudes. Where I say the disconnect. So remember, that's an eighty two. In Rotten Tomatoes, but a 77 audience score, right? You follow mm -hmm. me, right? Now, look I'm at the Marvels. A 62% Rotten Tomatoes with an 82% audience score. That That's when I say there, there's a disconnect. There's something not right here. Because usually, yeah. now you, you've got 62%, but 82% say, hey, this is a good movie. And I was part of that 82% where people were trying to trash the movie. I was like, no, 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 no. And again, 62% is considered fresh. That means that, you know, more than half is, is decent. But I don't know, man. Something was just up with Civil War, bro. 77% audience score? That does not show me that that's an 82% Rotten Tomatoes, if you kind of see what I'm saying. Because if you're 82% at Rotten Tomatoes, God damn it, your audience score needs to be in the 80s as well. You can't be 82% from critics and the audience score is a C. You see what I'm saying? You can't be a C here, but a B here. Like that, that doesn't, the critics are paid and sometimes paid to, I use to sabotage what the view is on a movie, what the rating is of a movie. They're calling it fresh 82%. But if you're telling me this is an 82 and these are paid critics, but your audience score is a C, that's a problem. That's when you know the movie, something's fucked up. You know, was these planted fucking reviews? Um, are they in love with the actresses or the director? Because that happens too. Like, Steven Spielberg made a lot of bullshit in his life, but they're not going to give him a 60-something a, a or a 50-something Rotten Tomato score because he's Steven fucking Spielberg. You know, so that's just what it is. So, that's all I'm saying. You know, the, the disconnect was there somewhere. You can't be 80 here and 70 here. And just like the Marvels, you can't be 62 here and 82% there. The Marvels cannot have a higher audience score than Civil War when Civil War is at 82% Rotten Tomatoes. If your audience isn't feeling your shit, number one, you're not going to get a sequel. And number two, you're not going to get the box office receipt that you want. So, that being said, hello, Avon, where are we steering the ship, brother? Talk about Monarch. All right. So, we talk yeah. about Monarch. So, this is Monarch Episode 6. For those who are keeping track, and this is probably shout out looks to like we're seeing um, Shaw's true intentions. If anything, we are, yeah, well, yeah, he wanted that Rhonda chick. Well, before she's a Rhonda, it looks like he was into the Japanese girl. Where at first I thought it was a strictly platonic relationship, but this dummy mm -hmm. goes and leaves, and he loses control of Monarch, chasing some. <sighs> Poontang, if you will. You know, <laughs> it's amazing. And it's funny how we I bring this up in Godzilla. They show a flashback scene. The guy dances with the girl. They fall in love. I saw Rogue and Magneto dance, and it looked like they were falling in love. What in the blue hell is going on with these goddamn dances? I don't know. Trillo says, hey, Ricky, this bone marrow transplant is a bitch. But I'm in the hospital showing some of my brother. We appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a shout out to Trillo, who is in the... He's fighting for his life, literally. Let's shout out to him. Sending healing energy to you, brother. Yeah, healing energy brother. to you. Hope you get better. Hope you get better. 
Prayers to Trillo. Prayers to Trillo. Prayers to the Light Queen. Prayers to uh, tie that man. You know, which I thought he'd come around here because the Eagles made a signing uh, or, or something that, you know, whatever the hell he was talking about. So y'all guys give Trillo some love. Now, this is the first time we've seen a Godzilla in Monarch more than 30 seconds. You know what I'm saying? But he was taking a nap in the desert. This motherfucker let him sleep. And so he was, you know, he was sleeping in the desert. He came up. They had the map. Now, this, I believe Monarch is getting, this is where it's getting its best. Like, episode six showed you what this show can be and what it's about. Kurt Russell is awesome. Uh, I didn't know that the guy's uh, sister, Kate, is that her name? Kate? Is Kate the girl's name, uh, Deuce Deuce? Who are you talking about? Um, uh, and Monarch. Who's the girl, the young girl? Kate. is. Uh, what's her name? What's her name? Kate Wan- uh, Ronda. Is that her name? Yeah, yeah, Kate. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, about, well, uh, apparently she's in some kind of love triangle with two women. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. That confused the shit out of me. I'm like, so wait a minute. Where where Godzilla's attacking San Francisco and she can't decide which fucking It's all about inclusion, Rick. Inclusion. They gotta include everybody. Well well, goddamn god (laughs) god damn it. I'm not worrying about who's I'm gonna be scissoring when a goddamn Godzilla's coming. She didn't know which bus to get on. She woke up with the brunette (laughs) and then she had the redhead in front of her, like, bro, what the fuck are we talking about? Get her a goddamn bus! Inclusion. Bro, sometimes think you can't sometimes see this is where when you force stuff, it's just stupid. You see what I'm saying? That makes... well, I, I agree with you. I didn't think that was necessary. Not at all. Bro, it has no grounds. It didn't help the story evolve. It did not. The fact that she's in love with two different women doesn't mean a goddamn thing when it comes to telling this story. That is a waste of fucking flashback time. What the fuck? That made no damn sense. When you have a guy who has his girl, who actually sold him out, by the way, that bitch. You know, that was, I'm like, oh, man, that was brutal. Of course, the black mm-hmm. girl's got to sell her out because she wants I to know, go back man. home. I wasn't going to go there. Yeah, go there. bro. <laughs> Yo, her black ass go selling there. everybody out. And then I think you're starting to see a little bit of my man Shaw, Lee Shaw, saying, hey, look. Lee Shaw kind of did a little heel turn, too, a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, buddy. Why, that's why I said, like, we're starting to see his yeah, bro. nature. Shaw took the fucking map, and he said, hey, you motherfucker can go over there. You'll be home by dinner. <laughs> I'm fucking out of here. I was like, yo, Lee Shaw turned they, They're going their separate ways. That's yeah. Like- they go, but let's be honest, those two fucking kids are dragging the story. This woman don't know which woman she's in love with. The black girl with the dreads is rich, but she can't show it. Get them the fuck up out of here. Addition by subtraction, good fucking buy. I'm glad they're gone. Get them out of here. Thank you, thank the you, only, thank you. Only I, I like the episode. It was solid. I give it an eight. The only issue I had with the episode is I, I assume the dad knew that there was a Titan somewhere, but what the fuck was he doing just standing there? Like, yeah, he, he waved them the off. And then, bro, if I haven't seen yeah, my like, kids in years, I'm, I'm gonna embrace them. Well, first of all, did you brush your teeth, son? What's going on here? Hey, listen, what's here? You know, it was it was very weird. Like, I don't, man. I mean, the show. Look, don't get me wrong. I love this episode. I gave it a nine out of ten. Actually, they showed fucking Godzilla more than fucking any other time. Shout out to Mac City, who's here. What is good, no, Matt? Matt comes through on a club tip. But you know, it was also weird that Godzilla was staring at her and he ain't do nothing. Like I was like, okay, why he ain't bitch smack her or something? Like, yeah, I'm just like, what? What? What just happened? Like, he's he just smelled, staring. Man, he, and, he, he probably smelled the pheromones of two different women on her crotch. Oh, here we go. Know. Here we go. I, I don't go. know what happened here. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. What does this woman's sexuality or love interest has to do with them finding their fucking father? That right this there. This sounds like a new Jaden Smith right here. Rick can't let it go. Bro, I can't let it go. Bro, this bothered me. Not the fact that she's a lesbian. Look, if she has her fucking liquor license, go praises due to her. I don't have a problem with that, especially when it's two women getting it on. Rick doesn't care about that. But listen, what that it was a nothing burger. It showed nothing. And she still got on the wrong bus. Like, fuck. Like, yo. That's true. God damn. Shout out to Mac again. Shout out to everybody that's here. So I get I gave it a nine out of ten. They show Godzilla, and this is the in shape Godzilla as you can see up in his torso area. He looks like he's in better shape than he was, um, I guess, because he knew he was gonna fuck that monkey up. So anyway, uh, Levon, where do you want to go, brother? Uh, I want to go to Invincible. 
Let's... Oh, shout out to Mello who's here. I seen Mello pop up. Yeah. What's good, brother. Hey, my man Mello's here. Talking to do I was letting y'all do y'all want to shout out to everybody. Yeah, shout out to him. You know, wait, before y'all move on, did anybody else watch Monarch? Took care of the com- com- comment. I did. All right. I did. So what'd you think, Mello out of ten? What'd you give it? I agree with what you're rating. I, I definitely agree with a nine on that. Um, y'all were saying that he was waving off his kids or yeah. when, when he was inside to doing the research. Yeah, he was around that bubble and shit because years ago, Godzilla took that same bubble and threw that shit across the fucking yard when he got mad. You know, they just... Long story short, it was a warning because he's doing research on some stuff, but I can't need to hit me up there because I already watched all of it, so I'm not going to waste y'all. Yeah, me too. I saw it too. <laughs> now, did you, yeah, notice that, did you notice that Godzilla was bigger than he was the first time they saw him? Yeah, yeah, he, I did. He's he's a a little, but that was the thing that was weird. I don't understand. I guess that's how they write Godzilla. Hold on, let me cut this down. I don't know if that's how they write Godzilla, like in the stories or previously or something. But anytime he about to get into some action, the mother just start working out for some reason, yes. and he be prepared for whatever he about to go have to handle. I don't know. It's weird, yeah. but yeah, I noticed yeah, that. I did he, notice he, that. Yeah, he, he was a lot bigger. I'm like, yo, wait a minute. When we first saw him, like he was able to stand up and they blew the bomb up. This time, mm-hmm. the bomb yeah, would he... come to like his crotch area. He was like way bigger. I'm like, damn. I'm like, this is Godzilla <laughs> on some steroids. Well, that's why Ridge be coming back here all fucking fired up and shit. Hey, I'm like, what the hell is going on with that shit? So anyway, that, that that's what that was. Uh, we, we're going to move on to Invincible now. Um, this here was the the last episode for yes uh, yes yeah, so all right so finally the kid killed somebody right and mm-hmm. you know he's feeling bad which is stupid you know I, I listen if somebody was trying to kill me and my mom, bro broke his mom's hand all fucked up some scientists had like a big brain or whatever bro yeah. yeah he's pushing his freaking brother down like bro you can't come in my house with this shit he should have killed him. And then now we find out <laughs> that Eve is in love with um, with uh, Invincible or whatever his name Not surprising. No, not mm-hmm. surprising. I kind of feel that too, mm-hmm. which leaves the black girl with no man. So, that mm-hmm. being said, I, I don't know what happened, but did you guys enjoy? I mean, I mean but Rick. It was comments, fine. It was a... In the comics, he, he ends up with... Well, not ends up, but he's with... Um, um, Eve, Eve, and he's with um, what's the other girl name? Um, ne- um, Nessa, Nessa? Am- Amber. He, he also, yeah, yeah, like down the line, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he, he gets buns from all all places, bro. I'm gonna say I'm a superhero, man. You can't judge my groin. So basically, <laughs> this I when I smash. this Asian hybrid <laughs> is a player. Oh, he, God damn. He, Here we go. he is. He, yeah, he's he's he, he a father son. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He's pimping <laughs> all over the place. He's got these girls' hopes up, draws down, and oh, you know, snap. yeah, you know what's wrong with him? You damn womanizer! Oh my God! If this was a black, he's not a womanizer. He's bro, not a womanizer, nigga, Rick. I'm telling you right he's now, he's a young man that's exploring his. Superheroes as well as him being a teenager. Well, Come I can say in college. I can say Sean Teen. Combs was the same thing before they turned him into mm. the enemy of the state. <laughs> well, that's totally different. <laughs> <laughs> totally different. <laughs> you talking about a young man in high school in I, college? Hey, and he's trying to learn who he is as a man. And so was Puff Daddy. Was he not? No, what Diddy did was crazy. And, 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 nah. and, 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 and he took, was that? took that literally. Andre Harrell, <laughs> whoever they had him dancing for him, and he had Mary no. Jane Hey, look, man, look. I think you guys need to leave. The legend. Alone. He took that. Took that. He took it too literal. Well, it's he kept difference. saying, "Take that, take that." <laughs> I don't know why everybody's surprised at Puffy. He said, "Take that, take that." I thought I told you that we won't stop, and everybody is acting like, "What's going on here?" I, I don't understand. You guys are shocked. Like, yeah, like you guys are you shocked. You saying something and doing it and having an act really? behind it is so totally now, different, bro. And, and again, Americans, I don't know what's wrong with y'all. We're surprised <laughs> that Americans. Trump it paid some woman to not mention that he has sex when he said you can just grab him in the PUSS, whatever. Like, how are we surprised by this stuff? Like, I don't understand. Like, with R. Kelly, how are y'all surprised by these people's actions when they let you know who they were? Is it through song lyrics or hidden cameras? It was pretty early in his career. Yeah. I mean, 
Wow. R. Kelly likes young girls. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. He married yeah, Aaliyah like, like, when she was underage. Forged documents. Are we not surprised? Like, come hold on. on, Rick. Yes, we are surprised because majority of the people that know about R. Kelly now was not even born when he was doing all these acts. Well, somebody had to smarten these people up and let them know what the fuck he's been doing. Like, I mean, come on. <laughs> Think about it. All the fights. Hey, it's in Hollywood song. for a reason. It's Think Hollywood about this. for a reason. I ain't never heard of a grown ass man, especially me in my forties. You think I'm gonna be trapped in a goddamn closet hiding from somebody? <laughs> that sound like some high school shit. I'm trapped in the closet. I got my Beretta. That sound like some young boy. Like he's mentally not right. And we all sitting here surprised. You know, sitting here. You know, Rick. Man, you're doing too much. You're trying to sell it too much. Man. I'm not. I'm just letting you people know <laughs> we cannot be shocked when if our heroes known, let us down. If, if, we if you are a known cheater, you, you might be get into some weird things, especially if you're cheating with married women. Like, come on, man, you will be in a closet hat somewhere. Yeah. If you're in somebody else's home, you gotta relate. You gotta be able to relate. That's it. <laughs> well, well. Well, we, we we know what he did. Look, let, let's get the show back on. All right, let's you, talk you, about you, the boys. Let, let's talk wait, about wait, the hold boys. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we gotta finish the, this Invincible episode. Okay, this was a okay. season finale. Did y'all know that? Yeah. Okay, so. Um, Baby, I'm sorry. I give the episode nine. Let me pick off because I didn't realize it was a season finale. Um, but my my biggest thing about the show was. I thought they was gonna break Nolan out this episode, and obviously they didn't. Um, I think that's the season. Oh, three, the alien probably. guy, bro, he is on steroids yeah. now, bro. He is a freaking he, he, man, he is a monster. Yo, he, they they beat him up, and he's sitting here winking at him, letting them think they got him beat up. He, I'm here for you. I'm like, all right. Oh man, yeah. yeah so, so the <laughs> alien, so the alien, and that's Seth Rogen, I believe. I know that voice. I think that's Seth Rogen. So you know, mm. they, I believe so. Yeah. But I know Parker would love this. Did Parker? They threw your man in there too. Well, not your man, but they had Batman, but they couldn't mention his. Yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, Batman. Batman. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you yeah. see the Spider Man? The, the Spider Man. Oh, the Spider Man. That fake Spider Man. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, oh yeah. fuck! If I'm Marvel, I'm calling him right now. If you fucking don't That's cut that like part out of there, it was like a parody moment. You laughed at the other. And they kind of like shined a little joke on the DC universe while they going through the different universes. Mm. It was funny to me. I liked it. Yeah, he's like, like so. Yeah. He said, "So you're dressed like a bat. Uh, Parker love. <laughs> Parker just dressed left. like a bat. Oh, man. <laughs> he just Pastor. left right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he bounced. He bounced. He bounced. He said, "You're a man, and you call yourself that." He's like, "Yeah, that's kind of weak." <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But no, no, it was the no, no, oh, shout out, the, shout out, shout out to Pastor Joe who's in the chat. Pastor Joe, what's good, brother? Oh, That's the good, good stuff, Pastor. And check y'all check out his podcast. He just did his first episode. Oh, man. Pastor, wait, wait a minute, Pastor. Whoa, 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 games, whoa, whoa, Dwight. So, Pastor Joe, <laughs> you had a podcast and you didn't invite the Rick. Like, he didn't invite nobody. Oh. Well, that's because y'all be cursing and stuff, and he can get back to his church, and he's going to tell oh, you, that. yeah, okay. that's why. Oh, yeah. you yeah. say something. You people are not saved. You cannot be on my podcast. <laughs> You're full of the devil. <laughs> the pits of hell. <laughs> so he is not... He is not letting y'all do that. So shout out the pastor. <laughs> Congra congratulations, Pastor, on your first podcast, brother. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Uh, get it while you can, Pastor, because there ain't gonna be no consoles in seven years from now. So console oh, Lord. Console oh, war your geez. ass off. Console your oh, ass. Yeah. Pastor, console your ass Dang. off like you're from Iran and you just shot some missiles oh, at Jerusalem. Oh. But oh. but guess what? Ninety nine percent of them missed. So, oh my God. <laughs> so, oh, Jesus. so hey, that's what happens. Hey, listen, shout out to Israel and everybody else that's in this <laughs> war. And I would just like to say this is Rick's take, by the way. Yeah, this so. is my take. And, 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 this yeah. is, and I'm yeah. talking to my country, tis of the, the Americans. Don't you go fucking getting involved with this shit. No motherfuckers is cool with China and Russia, Iran, known for weapons of mass destruction. Leave that shit alone. Get out of there. Get all our troops out of there. Everybody come home safe. Let these motherfuckers fight amongst each other. Oh, gas will be 
twelve dollars a fucking gallon after this shit goes down. <laughs> so, so, so I'm just letting y'all know fucking right now. Think about this: China hey, imports buddy. the most fucking pork, and you know they got and they get, you got gas and all the other shit and crude. Yeah, buddy. Uber rides are gonna start costing y'all fifty dollars to go around the block. Yeah, it's gonna be oh, bad. Man. Ouch. Yeah, Ouch. it's gonna be bad out here. So Parker, I know you ain't driving. You're using your lift, the ride share. Yeah, buddy, you might want to get that credit limit up on that discovery card because uh, oh shit, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's it's gonna be ugly out here. So if, I would just say all of y'all, just be be careful and what you do. Um, I like the Invincible episode. I gave it a ten out of ten. Now listen, the all mm. I, I gave it a ten out of ten. Isn't that something? Ten out yeah, of ten. That's <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ain't missed nothing. <laughs> He said they uh, missed nothing. That's crazy. No, no, they didn't mess up nothing. I'm just confused though because they Marvel and um, Invincible did a crossover with Spider Man before in the comics. So I'm like, what? What was the reason? Maybe you know, Sony. I don't. I don't know. I'm yeah, like, why, why did not? Why why did Marvel Marvel I, have, I have no idea. Or oh, just playing it safe. Probably just playing it safe. Probably. To be honest probably with you. Uh, now I think you guys made, did forget something in the. Um, the Last of Us TV show did win an award, um, so I don't really. Know. Yeah, they won an award. Uh, if I best for best writing, I don't remember which episode it was. Um, a shout to them. All right, shout out to them. Knowing as either episode one or it's, uh, the, it won the, prime time the, created the, Emmy award. Um, <laughs> for um, out of the uh, two man episode. <laughs> Uh, oh, I think that is the one. Uh, the one with the two men, and yes. they had that look. Oh, yeah, yeah, probably that the strawberry oh, situation. Yes, <laughs> it's probably that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did. They, uh, hold on, I, I'll get the um. I'll go, hold on, hold on. The race going to do his research. I heard it on the radio this for, morning. Uh, for whatever reason, they praised the hell out of that episode. Not the introduction of the fungus. Yeah, I mean, or... it was such. It was a brave moment, said the fuckers. Yeah. yeah. All right. So awards. With so much chaos going on, they was able to find peace. So it was nominated <laughs> for twenty four primetime Emmy awards. Oh with, yeah, they gonna win something. Listen, listen. With a leading eight wins at the Creative Arts Emmy Awards, mm. including for all from Ann Reed. From from the major guilds, it won two awards at the Screen Actors Guilds, including Best Actor Pascal, and one at the Directors Guild of Awards and Writers Guild of Awards of America. That's the one that was yesterday, and it received two nominations for Producers Guild Awards of America. So it is oh, okay. now not bad for basically taking verbatim from a fucking video game. So now you are considered a good writer by basically. So can you guys just give fucking Neil Druckmann half of that fucking uh? Yeah, give him his respect, man, on that point, because yeah. Naughty Dog did their thing. You can't lie. You yeah. can't hold it down. Can't lie, you can't, can't deny lie. that win. Listen, they look, gave you a good game, and now they gave you a good show, uh, TV show. The Rick has right. to yeah. give the devil its due. That's nice. So you That's best believe they are going to release the Last of Us series remastered <laughs> in 4K <laughs> Blu-ray, because Blu-ray ain't enough. <laughs> They're gonna get you the twenty-four frame yeah, yeah, obstacle disc format. <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. And, it's, uh, and also, anybody that was arguing me against uh, Last of Us One and Two, clearly, Last of Us One was the best goddamn game. It was. I, I it, agree. So yeah, now again, we're talking game, not gameplay, and this is the Watchtower, <laughs> right? Right, the right, arcade, right, right. So we won't get too deep into that, but let's just say Mello was right for those who, yeah, want to say that he wasn't. Now. Labor. Let's let's get on to the boys. So the boys release date is June thirteenth, twenty twenty four, and that's it'll launch with a uh, three episodes on Amazon Prime Video. Now, now Prime they don't release all of the boys episodes at once, do they? No, not at all. I don't think so. No, no, they don't. No. Okay. Nah. okay. All right. So now we have a release date for the boys. Um, now, after the fatal death of the co-star of Gen V, I wonder if he was scheduled to be in this or are they going to have to edit him out? I mean, he was a supporting character, you know, he wasn't the main character. I mean, the main character is the, uh, the black girl in the, um, the shift changer and, uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, that so he wasn't a main character, but he was a he was a, p- a big piece of the show. Absolutely. Despite what Absolutely. Parker said, you know, he was a big piece of the show. <laughs> and, you know, it's going to be a shame that he's not there anymore. You know, prayers go out to him. I don't think we said enough of our condolences on uh, that, brother, that brother going out there because we got sidetracked with Parker's uh, despicable take on it. So, you know, yeah. we, you know, we kind of. Yeah, that was something. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't know what that was. I mean, Parker has no respect for this guy, and he believes we're the cousins of fucking gorillas. Like, I don't understand that. Mm-hmm. Wait, where is Parker? Mm-hmm. He needs to answer for these things. Where is Parker? I don't know. He was just mm-hmm. here. Maybe well, he, he left. He, he left. Had, apparently, ever since he said that we are cousins of fucking primates and gorillas, he is now going to get a bunch of bananas. So, I don't know. Oh, man. That's, <laughs> that's kind of what he said. That's where he is right now. Shout out to Parker, ladies and gentlemen, for believing that his true cousin is King Kong. <laughs> and Diddy Kong. And Donkey Kong. And whatever damn Kong there is out there. So, good that the boys season four is on its way. Now, now Levon, what else we got? All right, so this this is going to be some 80s news for some of you guys out there. Um Transformer in a G.I. Joe crossover yeah! movie mm. is officially happening. Yeah, I need Optimus Prime. I need Cobra Commander. I need Destro. I need Serpentor. I need him. And it's supposed to come out either next year or the year after. Oh, 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 oh. let mm. me tell you what oh, Ray doesn't need. I do not want Dwayne Johnson anywhere near this fucking movie. Get his ass up out of there. Stick to wrestling. Fight Cody. <laughs> Don't come in his G.I. Joe shit. Please, Rock. Please. I'm was he in the first you. one? Uh, no, yeah, he's Roadblock. Oh, God, please. Oh, yeah, he definitely going to be oh, there. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Now, and Marlon Wayne should be there, no. too. Yeah, they ain't going to mess that up. Nah. I do not want Dwayne Johnson in fucking this movie. No. No. Are you looking mm-hmm. forward to it? Hey, first of all, you know what? You jabronis, you guys are fucking Beast War kids. You guys aren't G1 Transformers. I just remembered that. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Thundercats kid. I love Thundercats. Oh, Sorry. damn right. Man, let me tell you something. He can't, he can't be in here. I would love to see... Bro, I, I can't wait. As long as they have the right, right fucking Transformers. I need Megatron as a fucking Walter P-38, please. No more of this Very fucking specific right there. Yes. <laughs> that is man. Megatron mm-hmm. needs to be a Walter P thirty eight. A fucking gun! Not this cannon and jet stuff. Gun. Yes. Well, you you know why they changed it, Rick. No, you know they, they, changed it. they changed that. Hold on, why did they change it? I'll tell you I I honestly, I'll tell you why. Why is violence, Mello? Well, Straight yeah, up, it, well, well here's here's what happened. A kid bought a Megatron toy on an airplane back in the eighties and it caused a fucking problem. Now, he was not shot because he was not a black kid. However, oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> and for the reason oh, why, and for those who can say, Rick, what do you mean he wasn't black? What do you mean? I'll tell you why he wasn't black. Because no black parent would buy their child a $35 transformer and bring it on a fucking plane and lose it. That's how you know. He was not a black kid. I don't let my kid bring his goddamn air buds to the movies. Let alone, are you nuts? No. Man, let me tell you something. How many of y'all out here in the chat, out here in the panel, when you got something nice for Christmas, your parents tell you, don't bring that out the house. They would be the first shit. They say, say, don't bring that out the house. Don't you bring it out the house. Don't you bring it over your cousin Richie's house. He's a goddamn thief. Don't bring it there. Yeah. Yeah. My, mom, my mom said that to me when I first got the Game Gear. I was, she was like, yo, make sure that stay right here. You're yes. not bringing that to your friend. 100 percent Shout out to Deuce Deuce's mother. See, this is what I'm talking We need more mothers like that. We need more mothers. Yo, bring your shit out the house. Well, I'm going to slap the shit out of you. That's what I'm talking about. She, she, she made it real clear if I, what, what was going to happen if I did bring it out the house. So. Facts. See, that's what I'm saying. See, this is the problem. Can't beat these kids no more. No, you don't want. Ain't that a bitch? They don't want us to beat our kids, but they want to beat on our kids when they become adults. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> so I'm gonna leave that one alone. So anyway, oh man, I, I, yeah. I have some breaking news for you guys. Some mm. breaking news. Well, did the rock, uh, did Keanu it? Reeves has been cast as Shadow in Sonic Three. 
right, that's kind Shadow? of hmm, okay. Yeah, yeah. But wait, didn't they already film that movie? Like, isn't it already out the end yeah, of the year? Th- yeah, the last thing you do is the voiceovers, though. Because remember, oh, they, okay. they want the voiceovers to go with the animation and shit. You know, Zeke. I enjoyed both shit, Sonic movies. Jim Carrey really. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have been watching movies. the other Sonic movies. Listen, you have not. Funny. I, I I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest with they you guys, bad. and I, and I they think there are a lot of actors or voice actors who agree with me. Regular motion picture live action actors should not be taking the jobs of voice actors. Like, stop! You, you let somebody. I don't, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I don't know. I, I think because here's here's, here's, the, here's the path. Here's the path you take. And again, you don't have to agree with me, but I can tell you right <laughs> now, know. as a former theater student. Okay. Oh shit. You are trained in two different ways. Okay. A voice actor is trained to do voice acting. A live action theater actor is trained to do theater. A motion picture star, or whatever, that's not really acting. No, it's very What rare. about a stand up comic transitioning to acting? That's horrible. Or... And so is rappers becoming freaking yeah. actors. I, I think that is the Holy worst shit, shit ever. I, I it fucking disgusts me. Because I know Dang. those guys didn't get shit thrown at their bus like I did and call a nerd when I had to go up and do a goddamn Hansel and Gretel or all that other shit we had to do as plays. <laughs> those fuckers, they didn't have to go through that shit. Oh, so you're, you're a nerd. Just, you just traumatized. Yes. That's all it is. I mean, look at Jim Carrey. Look at Bro, Jim can you Curry. imagine being a six foot five freshman hanging Jamie out with a bunch Fox. of little white kids man. and they're telling you, man, what's this big ass nigga doing in here in this cabaret? What is he dressed up for? What is he, the butler? Uh, is he the cook? What the fuck? Is he driving Miss Daisy? Man, this is the kind of shit you had to deal with. Man, Swordfish is here. That's all I'm saying. Now, That's the only answer. reason I give you a little kickback on that is because it's... Remember um, Family Guy, the guy that's in the wheelchair? His voice has been fucking everywhere. He played, goddamn it. Uh, he sounded like the dude that replaced uh, the Toy Story. Oh, you mean Joe Swanson? Yeah, his yeah, voice is yeah, so yeah, distinct he, because he played in so many roles. It's like, bro, yeah, but you know what? No, on, he, but he started out as a live actor. Give me some. But he started out as a live actor. Uh, actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a trainer. Oh uh, damn. He, yeah, he played in yeah, Ted. No, well, I mean, everybody else, a Family Guy played in Ted, but you know, he played in he, he played in other movies. But I just don't. Yeah, I'm just saying, movie. like he just it got got repetitive, like hearing his voice. So it's like yeah, I just get some new blood in there. I, yeah, I don't but, mind. I mean, come on, Keanu Reeves. I, I mean, bro, you got the fucking uh, what is that movie where he kills everybody and fuck, John Wick and Matrix. I mean, come on, bro. When is enough? They let somebody else get a turn. Like, well, hold up, yeah. hold up, Rick. <laughs> what, what, what you, okay, so what do you say about? Mark Hamill because he played the Joker and he was in Star Wars. Mark so Hamill is exactly, a, because exactly. Mark That's a good Hamill, point. you guys have got it twisted. Mark Hamill is a twisted horrible. Oh, yes, man. Mark Hamill is a horrible actor. He's only known as oh, Luke shit. Skywalker. Like, wow. You can't, bro, okay, Rick. You can't bro. You can't give me three other fucking films he played in without going to Google. Other than the fucking Star Wars series, that's all oh, he but ever was. But that's what he I is. Know he, I know. Look, I know him. I knew him as um, the Joker. I also remember him being in the first Flash series, and I remember him being in Star Wars. Those are the three things I can tell you without going to Google. Okay, and I'm telling you, I say yeah, that's fine and dandy. I said, give me three of the live action movies he's been in, the besides fucking Star Wars. You can't name them. They're not there. That, that's what makes him horrible act. That's what makes him a horrible actor. Oh, he come on! He can't act worth a shit. All he did was whine when he was in Star oh, Wars. I love the character, but he's not a good. He has no range in acting, bro. Bro, I think Fifty Cent has more range than him as an actor. I, <laughs> Damn! I, 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 I'm wow! Trying, I'm trying. That's to saying a lot. Mark that's Hamill. Funny. Mark Hamill <laughs> does not have range as an actor. At least 50 Dang. does. 50 can turn to drug dealer and kingpin real quick. No, nigga. It's, yeah. it's the same shit. Not really. He turns his mouth a little different. Like, you know. No. <laughs> he, turned his, he turned his mouth a little different. Oh, my when he, God. When he does it. But come on. Let's listen. I love Mark Hamill. He'll be known with, look, on his tombstone. It will say Luke Skywalker and the Joker. Good actor. It will <laughs> not say. It was not Pioneer Trailblazer. It will not say uh, uh, George Lucas's little pet. It will say. Come on, man. I love Mark Hamill, but 
but he, bro, he, they didn't even, they just used his voice in the Mandalorian. They wouldn't even put him in the suit. They got a stunt man and used his face for CGI. Bro, he's, he's not a good actor. Okay. Now, Harrison Ford is a good actor. Back. Okay. Harrison Ford. Think about all the people that played in Star Wars. And again, the movie business don't lie. They show you who has a star power and they show you who can actually get in front of a camera, have camera witness, camera awareness. Swordfish is here. Again, Harrison Ford became a big time fucking box office attraction. Mark Hamill didn't. Carrie Fisher didn't. Motherfucker, none of them. I think Chewbacca was in more movies than him. Without the Dang. fucking suit on. I'm just I'm just saying, bro. Jesus. Like, yeah, I mean Mark All Hamill. Right, what about what about the dude that was in um Mad TV and he's also the voice of Green Lantern? Uh, Phil, I forgot his last name. Philip Lamar. Yeah, what about him? He's not a good actor? Uh, I think he's hilarious when he was in Mad TV. And then he was a great... Um, was he Green Lantern or was he um, um, Martian Manhunter? I can't remember which voice he, um, he uh, portrayed in Justice League Unlimited. He was... God, I don't want to cheat. Um, oh, fuck it. I'm cheating. What's his name? Yeah, Phil, Phil uh, Lamar. Lamar. He, he's in Justice League... Uh, yeah, he was he was Green Lantern. He was Green Lantern. Yeah, he was in yeah he was in Green Lantern. But you know what? Here's an exception for his role, and it's no exception. Again, I'm not trying to weasel my way out of this. He is a sketch artist. Like those guys are very versatile. Like an improv sketch artist, like an Eddie Murphy who does voices as well. Like you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like guys that have that background, like Philip Lamar, like an Eddie Murphy, like a um, Jim Carrey. Like those guys are like improv sketch actors. They do voice work because they're mimicking how, like when Eddie so Murphy. Saying he's trained. Yes, he's trained. He's trained to do that because he's those are the most versatile motherfuckers on on planet Earth when they get in front of a camera. Like Eddie Murphy. What like, about what about the guy voice voice who voices Shrek? I think he's talented. Oh, Mike Meyer again. He he's the same I mean, background. He's a sketch. He's a sketch. All right, I'm back. He's a sketch actor. Uh, Mike Myers, he plays different characters. He does different voice work. He's a Canadian. Like they had a what Canadian about show. um Jamie Fox. Jamie Foxx is, I mean, he's versatile. I mean, he got pretty much, he got good acting credits. He won an Oscar for making fun of Ray Charles. I mean, you know. Make it fun. Yeah, no, no, make it fun. Make it fun. Make much, Rick. Don't you tell me. Come on, Ray Charles. Yeah. Brother Ali is here. Let's take your L, bro. No, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just, what's good, Thriller Ali? He, can, he did stand up. He did live in color. He had his own show. Well, I mean, again, the guy, again. guy been in, a, in some okay. music. He's yeah. like oh, yeah. Django, yeah. Django, Django right. Unchained, Guess what? Guess what? Uh, Ray. I mean, Listen, all right, you, you can stop giving me his fucking resume. Here's the deal. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie Murphy paved the way so he can do that shit. All the shit you said Jamie Foxx did, Eddie Murphy did that shit 38 years ago. Eddie Murphy Nobody's arguing that. Wait, Nobody's Eddie, I'm arguing just saying. That. I'm not Eddie, arguing that. I'm saying Eddie Murphy, a sketch fucking... Again, Jamie Foxx is a sketch fucking actor too. He came from a living color. Eddie Murphy came from Saturday Night Live. The same shit. The same yeah, shit. I'm just, I'm just saying I'm just, the, the sketch actors, they are trained to do improv, to do voices, to make fun of people. Like that kind of... I say he made fun of Rachel. He did. Like if you think he was did a good acting job, he did, but he was making fun of him. When Eddie Murphy, hold on, and I'll tell you why. When Eddie cut his mic off, please. Wait, listen, I'm about to say, please cut this motherfucker off. Oh, so, what is the difference between Jamie Foxx doing Ray and Eddie Murphy doing the sketch when he's Stevie Wonder? I am dark and you are light. It's the same shit, but one guy got an Oscar for it. Oh man, it is. <laughs> no, it's not, man. You have one singing and doing his impression of his artistry with vocals, and then you had the other one acting out his life. Totally different, bro. Okay, I'll tell you what. If Steve, if Stevie Wonder was, you know, in bad shape at that time, and they did a movie, <laughs> oh my god, Stevie, uh, fucking Eddie Murphy would. Eddie Murphy was gonna play Little Richard. Like that's how good of an actor Eddie Murphy is. He's a versatile guy. Again, he's one of those guys, man. He's fucking sketch. The sketch actor. Has a leg up on the theater. Well, the sketch in the theater, they kind of like the same thing. The sketch actor is going to be a good voice actor. He's going to be... Now, listen, the method actor is totally different. Like Daniel Day-Lewis and guys like... um, Who's the buddy that fucking overdosed with the uh, the fucking... The, the Olsen twin that played Joker? This guy. 
uh, Heath Ledger. Uh, Ledger. Yeah, Heath Ledger. Yeah, yeah. Those method actors yeah. they go a little fucking overboard. Like Heath Ledger was a method actor, and he was. Uh, uh, so is Daniel Day Lewis, and so is um, uh, fuck the guy that played uh, Morbius. He's also a method actor. Like when a method actor does not ever leave character, like even on set. Like on set, Daniel Day Lewis was known as the butcher. You called him the butcher. Butcher, we got to take in five minutes. Butcher, we have this. They're like that, and that's the same way. Like I think Dave Chappelle did a, a, um, a skit on it. He said when he met Andy Kaufman or something. Amy, Jim Carrey. He said, yeah, yeah, Jim Carrey. Yeah, Jim Carrey was doing that. There you go. When he was playing Andy Kaufman, and he said that you had to call mm -hmm. him Andy. Because he's a method actor. The method actors, they do that shit because they want to get into the point of um of being. They want to be the actor. They don't just want to. I think I believe Denzel did that as Malcolm X too. I think they said that Denzel was doing. They said when the camera stopped, Denzel was still preaching because he memorized all of Malcolm's sermons and, and speeches that he gave. It. He was still even during the cut takes. He was still going on and on and on. He should have got an Oscar for that movie. I Hell, he, that movie. he was fucking robbed. He was fucking robbed. Uh, Thrill Ali says, you know Marlon Gaming Nation YouTube channel got hacked by Bitcoin hackers and it's deleted at the moment. Yeah, you know why, though? And I hate to say oh, it. Snap. I'll tell you what happened with Marlon. Marlon was doing what Marlon does best, begging for money. He was oh, God damn, Rick. You know what? <laughs> listen, <laughs> hey, listen, he was big. Listen, Marlon, Marlon Gaming Nation, I got a little bone to pick with you, brother. Mm. You got to stop this whole Bible banging, God did this for me, God did that for me, when you're having kids out of wedlock. I don't want to oh, hear that. Oh, oh, what does oh, this hey, have to do with hey, hey, you? I don't want to hear it. Man, Rick, stop no, it, and I'll tell Rick. you, I'm not being, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop I'm it, not, just, well, listen, Jesus. hold on. First of all, you I'm not, hold on. Somebody I don't even know. Well, stop here's it, the Rick. deal. I'm not, if you let me finish. <laughs> I, again, I didn't put a period at the end. Here's the deal. He goes around here, thumping his Bibles along, telling people how God did this for him, God did that for him, and he's sitting here, won't even put papers on that white woman he had his kids by. He won't even do it. So, don't come telling me what God did and God don't want you to do when well, you're not living the fucking lifestyle. Shut up. I would rather talk to a Rick. preacher. So listen. Oh, Rick. Here's you what, let me finish. Right now, Rick. No, yeah, buddy, you got you being real. So here's the right. deal. You got, you're a glass let, house let's let's, let's go on to the yeah, next yeah. topic. Let's, nope. let's go on to the next I'm not topic. going anywhere. So anyway, <laughs> here's why so... his shit got hacked. He was on there begging for money. I caught him. I caught him in 4K begging for money. So this is how he does it. Rick, you uh, know you're derailing the show, though, right? Oh, yeah, you definitely. <laughs> you know what? I really don't care because I got to say this. Because okay. because I, I don't like sure, people, why, and I'll tell you yeah. why. No, because I don't like people, and I'll tell you why. There is a method to my madness here. So, people will say stuff like this: "Oh man, I really want to build a game in PC. I want a forty ninety, but I don't have that kind of money. It ain't like the pandemic; it was no more. If somebody wants to bless me and get me a forty ninety, bam, right there. That's that shit I'm talking about. He talking about somebody blessing him, sending him money." For him to get something, right? And then there was somebody in the chat, and I saw them, and I'm glad they brought it up. They said, wait a minute. We bought you a Series X. We got you one already. Didn't we donate that to you? Now you want a 4090. What does it stop? Nigga, go ask for a car next. Like, bro, stop. <laughs> and he kept telling everything. God bless me. God bless me. He was taking all these super chats and shit. What's good, Smoothie? He was taking all these super chats and all that stuff, I knew something was going to happen. He was getting $50 up here doing the MC Hammer typewriter. I saw that show. I'm like, yo, he's taking money from motherfuckers who he don't even know. Bro, you can't tell me when you go in and try to transfer it or whatever the fuck he did. It's just fucking boof. It's gone. Bro, I saw that. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. So you telling me he went on his, his channel. Mm -hmm. The people there was watching him. And he said, yo, I need a, a PC part. Yes. I need a 4090. Yes. So far, and yes. And he said, praise Jesus if anybody's willing to donate to me yeah. for, so I can get me this Bro, PC sound part. Bro, just like Jimmy Olsen. You, you should, Jimmy Olsen, you should have fucking heard him. Yes. <laughs> he said, sound like Jimmy Olsen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he did. Marlon, Marlon Gaming Nation's movie. I'm talking about Marlon. Oh, no. 
So he pandered to the people that normally watched him, and they decided to open up their wallet and donate to him. And you mad about that? No, 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 hmm. no, not mad at all. You see, you missed oh, he he a little much. Oh, man, he, 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 he deserved yeah, what he little... got. Oh no, no, well, Mello, listen. Rick is putting a little much on it because he did. He did say most of what Rick said, but he didn't say yes! God is glory and he didn't do none of that shit. Like, what? He just said, oh wow! Well, you, we can't watch the tape no more because it's gone. But all I'm saying <laughs> is. He kept saying, if somebody wants to bless, wants to bless. That's all I'm saying. He kept throwing that freaking term out there, bro. Like, playing on the heartstrings. You can't do that, man. Bro, all I'm saying is, right? Hold on, hold on. It's this not is, playing on the heartstrings. Hold on. This, this is what I would say. And, again, I've seen the people at church do it. Talk about so hey, plant a seed. I'm about to say every yeah. pastor in the world and did bro, that. I don't know I, what you bro, talking My about. pastor told me, if you give us 500 <laughs> God can give you fifteen hundred. Since when the hell does God use a calculator? And you and you Bro. still go to that church. So oh, absolutely. Why are you being a hypocrite right I'm not now? being a hypocrite. I call them out too, <laughs> nigga. I call everybody out. I don't give a you damn. You still go. I call everybody out. <laughs> you, I call them all out. A, I call them all out. And you still go to watch the church. And you still exactly. I go to church. I go to two churches. I go to two. I got a two of them. I get this. <laughs> oh, you, you double, <laughs> double sinning, nigga. No, double. No, I tell you what. I tell you what, though. My church didn't lose their freaking building after taking money from the devil. I'll tell you that. Oh, I man. I'll do it. All right. All right. Let's, 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 uh, let's get back uh, on topic, yo. We, we've been, we've been <laughs> going all the way left. So we're going to be talking about this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles here. It's getting a bloody live action film, The Last Ronin. Yeah, oh, I'm excited. I love the turtles, nigga. I'm totally the turtles. Go ahead. Do your thing, Levi. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so hold up. Let me. The Last Ronin, however, marks the first time in that's adapted for an adult audience, meaning like the Teenage Ninja Turtle live action films or whatever that came out back in the 90s, you know, they were more kid friendly. So this mm -hmm. one's going to be more mature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you guys are you guys familiar with the um Last Ronin and um, Listen, no, uh, no, no, no. no I, yo, here's the thing. I'm not. I'm hype, nigga. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, 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 tell me about it. Uh, who else? Tell me about it. I've been begging for this. I'm just saying it's it's definitely different, and it follows one of the turtles. I'm not going to tell y'all who, but um, yeah, yeah. The, the other three turtles end up getting clapped. Um, oh damn! Oh, yeah, I, I, I got the head Nigga, hold on. Wait no, it's minute. based on the comic book, so. Like yeah. the last one is based on a comic book, you know. It was yeah, more smooth. Uh, there's a more. last Ronin game. There, there is okay, a last one. The turtles game. get their uh, heads cracked yeah. with a hammer and stuff. No, no, no. y'all giving up too much souls, man. No, no, that's no, a no, comic no, book, no, though. No, Say, no, I know that's, that's the reason why it's that, the they gonna put that in. The, I know that. I don't know where they gonna put it in a movie, but there's gonna be some blood in there. Listen here, listen here, Linda. Listen, Linda. <laughs> they brought to they're gonna have to show you what happened to them because course, in the comic course. books it shows it. So y'all giving up too mm -hmm. much sauce to the audience right now. Nah man, that's what, it's called <laughs> last Ronin because it's only one of them niggas. It's the only in. one. That's what that's the last mm -hmm. Ronin part. I got mm -hmm. that part, but and also there's a video game coming at some crack, point woo -woo -woo. too. Levon, we was just about to roll up because once again tilt my hat once again. I done told you, motherfucker. Everybody tried to laugh me out the gym. I said they need to make Last of Ronin a motherfucking game, and they actually fucking listen. Mm -hmm. I also said Soulcom need to come back. And guess what? Another Soulcom. I know this ain't the question name topic right now, but it was confirmed also. So, Teddy, yeah, I know you're listening. I'm on your ass when I see you. Back to this turn. Oh, they, they, they confirmed a new Soulcom? That's dope. Oh, oh right, hey, 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 so, so hold before, on, hold on, before mm -hmm. we that, I put up a poll and I want you guys to participate, please. It says, mm -hmm. do you do you think when people use God oh to get God. money, oh, they man. will eventually oh, pay? <laughs> Stop it, Rick. No, listen, Rick. Here, man. Right, man. <laughs> <laughs> scheming motherfuckers out of money. For all play. right, all right. Yeah. Last, um, on, stop last, that. I'm just what, saying. What make last Ronin? What, what, what make last Ronin so good is because. Not not because of the demise of the turtles, but it shows you the brotherhood of uh, actually losing a brother or a family member mm -hmm. and the length that the individual is willing to go mentally 
Not yeah, not sure. just on like on no, you know, so, this suicide is or nothing is like that, but that what they're willing to do. That's what um, Smoothie said. To, to, ben, name to binge their brothers. So it's man fire, bro. Y'all, man, that's this gonna be a good yeah. it's gonna be a good yeah. game and a good con show. Definitely. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I'm done. Hopefully they put it on HBO Max so they can put all the blood and guts and gores and all that yeah, good stuff I mean, on it. It's gonna be rated R. So so I'm definitely yeah. there's gonna be some type of blood. So I don't want no Nickelodeon, no no Disney on this one. They need to make this rated R. Yeah, they gotta get them little Asian guys in them suits again and start doing the flips and stuff. Like, <laughs> this, this, like the real Rick, karate. You get this show down before we get monetized, man. <laughs> nah, bro, yeah, hold, yeah, you hold, gonna... hold up. First of all, what am I hey, saying? Yeah. That, what am I saying that's wrong? Those guys that were in the suits are the first. Three original Ninja Turtle movies, they were Asian guys. I don't think they should make it a. Uh, Nigga, you well, think that I was Michael J. White? Right? That's fucking Donatello? What the fuck? I, don't, I hope they don't do the suits. I hope they make it like an animated series. Like a, a legit it's animated live series action. would be dope. It's, it's live action. So, oh, Smoothie okay, said that it's, yeah. it, it's Sue. He said, if y'all watch Ninja Turtle versus Power Rangers, y'all know what he's talking about. Because the turtles is too, too huge. Pause. You know, no Diddy. Like, they. In actuality, they tall as hell. I don't know if they're big, man. It's something that come out of the show know. like that. Listen, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like the way that they had Shredder fucking up Batman. That that kind of that bothered me a little bit. But see, this but he got the fighting style though. He well, can fight now, Shredder. Uh, yeah, he, 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 well, he, well, he hold on. Let, let, me, let me finish. But they made Shredder a clown in the fucking late eighties cartoon. They was throwing him in dumpsters and shit. You know, kicking him oh, off yeah. of buildings. Like now, the only yeah, time, yeah, exactly. Now, the only time Shredder got his shit was in the first live action movie when he fucked all them motherfuckers up. And he was just waiting. Every time they went over there to fight him, pop, 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 pop. Next, he was fucking them up. One guy. <laughs> yeah, nah, then, again, yeah. like, then again, like, Vaughn, we in 2024. This is probably going to drop, what, 2025, 2026. Technology and CGI is definitely advanced, so it probably won't be bad. I think it would have been a badass yeah, um, anime type of um, thing. To, um, yeah, it definitely... I, I well, agree with you. So far, the votes are in. Do you think people that use God to get money will eventually pay? And 80% say yes, 20% say no. There are heathens in here. So, uh, listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Like, oh, you pray to God, please let me do this and that. Fight something financially, right? You're, so, not so, you're, not you're, you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to pray. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to pray for money. Like, that is dumb. <laughs> You know, like, please, God, if, if you the messed up the situation, why wouldn't you? Because that money not gonna save you. That money don't have a heaven or hell to put you in. The money is the ice. Okay, the y'all need to, y'all, listen, man, y'all need to stop with that. What you talking? Listen, man, Mo, a person in a bad situation, like going so, some in their background, probably pray to God, whatever, right? They will. You know what I'm saying? You get shot. You don't know if you gonna make it or not. You, you praying while you take it to the hospital, probably. Mm-hmm. Okay, you, 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 well, you, well, well, where's Pastor Joe yeah. when you need him? Because where would you? Oh, were you, you, were you now listen, oh. were you praying oh, on man. all the other days that you didn't get shot? I mean, that's the question. Were oh you? man! Oh, oh! <laughs> I mean, oh, why man. people only hold on? Why, why people only mention God this and that when something good happened? You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, he blessed mm-hmm. me with this car, know. right? You can be blessed. You can be blessed. I'm by just a saying. Demon. You can be blessed by a heart. No, I don't know. You be blessed, but I don't know about all that. Uh, all right, y'all. All right, let, let's get back to the show. Let's get back to the show. Um, let's talk about Back to the Future. It's gonna be rebooted. Yeah, oh, that's you, right. Now you uh, sure yeah. about that? And now the reason, I why, hope. bro, I know Universal Studios. Here's why I think that's a big fucking bro. Hell, listen. Here, first of all, some things you just don't touch. Can I interest you in House Party? Do you remember how that fucking? Yes. <laughs> Arrowboot. Oh, God, <laughs> certain things. Everything LeBron James. LeBron need to be yeah. beat for that. He need to be beat. Hey. <laughs> I'm well, sorry. All, that was terrible. All I'm saying is things like um, Back to the Future. It's supposed like, to be, you know, made by J.J. Abrams. Oh, fuck. Yeah. It's going to be a $300 million budget. I mean, listen. <laughs> some things you just leave alone, bro. Like, I mean. I, you're never I don't even get... agree with this new beat of juice they talking about. No, doing. That, well, at least they bought the original cast. Now you Mm-mm. can't bring back this original cast. Hell, one guy can't read anymore. One guy's old as shit. <laughs> well, so, you know, you can't bring him in. I mean, hell, what's Christopher Lloyd gonna go? Oh, oh, this one. I want to run behind the lorry, <laughs> Marty. And, 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 and then Marty going to be like, this. Doc, I can't stop shaking. I'm fucking got my, you know, he got that shit, bro. He got that Ali, Muhammad Ali shit. Then get his ass up out of here. 
Listen, that oh, motherfucker. Yeah, 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 listen. <laughs> oh, Bro, my God. Imagine Michael J. Fox trying to hold the script. He's going to hit himself in the face. Like, bro, stop. We can't bring the original yeah, let, cast let back. It go. So you know what's going to happen. Go. You know what's going to happen. Tom Holland is going to end up fucking playing Marty McFly. We know that's for sure. And then they're going to, I don't know, some old white. Who are they, they going to get to play fucking Doc? Who are they going to get? Jim, Jim Carrey? I don't know. Yeah, probably. I mean, cause you, cause you can already tell Tom Holland is going to play Marty McFly. And then they're going to get some... I'll be like, they gonna do it. You know what? They gonna flip. They gonna put a female in this. They gonna put a female in it. Oh my god! They gonna flip it. Yeah, yeah they gonna yeah, flip it. Yeah, Doc will be a lady. They gonna, yeah, geez, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoothie said, "I'm going to hell." Jesus Christ! Willie Styles <laughs> is here. What's good, Willie? Say, Willie Styles. What do you think should happen to people that use God to get money? What do you think that should happen to them people, Willie Styles? Please tell the Rick. What do you think should happen to those people? Should their YouTube channel get hacked? Hmm? What should happen? So anyway. As we were saying, wow, Rick, you wilding. Yeah, well, the Rick's mad. Well, man. Man, Rick, you know, listen, I just had knee surgery, and my God helped me get through that. My did God, he? he did. Yeah, did he? How you, know, he you know he helped you get through it, though? Not P. Diddy. Or was it the devil? No, no, what I'm saying is, um, how did God help you get through that, though? The you same, like, on that journey, right? Okay, the same God that created man and eight different and not cousins like you thought, that God. But yeah. do you know oh. what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, but you, 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 you always talk God. about God when something positive happened. What about the bad stuff, too? Like, you, like I said, well, so, well the bad you know, stuff is the devil. That's what we're trained to say. No, okay, how, <laughs> but even in the Bible, it says, that God said he created a good and evil, right? Didn't he? Um, well, I, no, that was Lucifer. Yeah. So listen, so, 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 so what are you talking about, though? Hold on, preaching Parker. So, so hold on, listen. No, it's not preaching. Everybody yeah, preaching. like, oh, all right, he's preaching like, Parker. Listen, church oh, 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 no. oh, a blade with something let's, bad. Let's, oh, it's the devil. No, it's not. Some bad. Uh, all right, Parker. Parker, let, let's talk. No, about hold, this hold, later. hold on, hold on for a minute, though. Right. So if I punch somebody in the face, and it's a retaliation. That wasn't the devil. That's because mm. I punch somebody in the face. All right. Okay, so, now go ahead. All right, so when you punch somebody, all right. All right, so, whoa, 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 Dwight. So let's double down you on that. So that when you punch somebody in the face, you're not the cousin of an ape either, right? No. Maybe, I don't know, right? Let's go back. Here go we back. go. What I'm saying is, though, but the point is this. I know they got similar um, ancient... We're going um, down this rabbit hole again. I'm just, that's all I'm going to say, though. Well, now we'll find out who that motherfucker All right, well, is. listen, well, listen. Story. well, listen, since you got so much to say, how do you feel about this Back to the Future reboot? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe if it's done right. You know, the, the original uh, is a classic. That's that's always a problem living up to the original. Like, all right, well, Tom the Yard. Well, well, they try to do another one. Wasn't as good as the original. Well, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We are not comparing Stomp the Yard to fucking Back to the Future. No, I'm, I'm comparing original. Nah, you got a point there, though. It yeah. was terrible. All right, let me ask it you was this. Like the, the first Friday. Uh, Friday. No, 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 compared like to the original Friday. Do you think they should? Oh, all right, let me, oh, I'm going to oh, give oh, you a oh, list oh, of oh, movies. Oh, oh, and, oh, you, oh, and you tell me if they should be the rebooted or not. Do you think Sorry. they should reboot E.T.? I mean, yeah. Hell no. I, I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that. Hell no. how, especially with, like, with the um the aliens, like, finding you know, actual alien life force. Why not? Damn. I wouldn't see that in We in 2024. Oh, the niggas don't care about that mess. Uh, smoothie, I don't got, I don't got um all time as but keep buying that um liquor at the um club though. Let's see, he got three, mm. he got three stacks. Mm. He better leave that nigga alone. He got shit. Smoothie got that money. He got that bag. He got more money than me right now. I ain't got no job. So shut up. Oh, you say the church, um, smooth, you paid attention. <laughs> you know. So you uh, put that crystal God, right greatness is here. And he said, oh, snap, Parker on his Z shit right now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm just saying, though, it's, what I mean, mean, accountability, though, right? So I'm not going to blame some so-called demon king or fallen angel why I did something messed this up. This is timestamp material, folks. Yeah, no, no, I'm just saying. Time just, stamp uh, is real time accountability. Yeah. Yeah, yeah accountability, yeah. though. Accountability to your actions. Just like yeah, when he was streaming. They, he said what he said, and they decided to donate. I don't see nothing wrong with that, bro. My baby's got but, a secret. But same thing when people say, "Hey, uh, you know what?" When people ask for subs, I say they begging. But when people ask for subs and donations, yeah, like, you feel free you to donate. 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 I mean, hold on. What is the phrase? Right, right? The term behind hitting the like button or subscribing is it doesn't cost you anything. I'll be goddamn. 
If I come up here and tell y'all I'm building a PC and please, the Lord is, one of y'all will bless me, guilt, guilt motherfuckers, one of y'all bless me to give me the money so I can buy the parts. You know, not work for it, but you give it to Wait, me. What you mean? Hold, wait, if you're going to hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because he's throwing a whole nother mix in there. What do you mean by guilting them? He didn't guilt nobody. He did. How did he guilt, because, how did he guilt them? Because everybody's saying the prayer, they're sending the prayer, like, emojis in the chat hold and on. stuff. And that's when he was like, oh, if you don't. How about Swoby come up in this chat, Swoby? Come on, Swoby. Bring your ass oh, up that's not it. That's not guilting. The guilting is I, you I, saying, hey, if you don't, yeah. if you can't donate to me, you a, you a broke nigga or something like that. That's guilting a person. Well, he did shoot down you the $5 up. chats, and only the $50 chats were the ones that were... Um, no, I got a difference between the sequel and the reboot, Smoothie. I've been that's watching crazy. reboots and sequels before you was born, boy. Stop <laughs> playing with me. crazy. Oh, come on, come yeah. on now. Yeah, so I know the difference between a reboot and a sequel, though. Come on now. Stop it. Oh, man. So, what are you no, talking listen, about? I am totally against this reboot. Now, listen. If there is a DeLorean, and if Doc is oh. black... And he's Samuel L. Jackson. What? Maybe I'll check it out. <laughs> Maybe I'll check it out then. <laughs> if Doc is no. if Doc is Samuel L. Jackson, and Marty is uh uh, let's see here. That is a weird combination. Uh, I can see him. No, no, wait, no, no. It was a reboot. It was good, Rick. I, I'm used to reboots that was good. Dark Crystals reboot that was good, right? Uh, you know, if anybody watched that, that's what I'm saying. That reboot was fire though. That was on Netflix. The one I'm huh. um, Spike Lee um, reboot the movie. Gotta have it. That 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 was a TV series though, but um, yeah, series on Netflix. That was they, good. They turned it to She's Gotta Have It. Was his first movie ever. Yeah, yeah as I'm saying, they did a reboot of that as a show, as a series on Netflix. That was pretty decent in my opinion. Okay. So yeah, mm. some can work, some maybe not. You know, yeah, I'm cool, man. I, I, I don't, I up. don't think it, but I think now listen. I think it's lazy and it seems kind of like uh not productive. Now what year were you going back to? Like you obviously wouldn't be going back to 1985. You know, there ain't gonna be he ain't gonna be in a mall parking lot anymore to have that kind of space. He's gonna be at an Amazon fucking facility. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like yeah, so like the ET will be completely different how the movie was. It probably could impact you. Like to me, at this time, it could probably be better depending on who's doing it. You know, well, well, what do y'all think about no, the? What do y'all think about the Amazon? I mean, not the Amazon. I'm sorry. What do y'all think about the Beetle Juice joint? Well, the home alone is just stupid. First of all, when you got cell, every kid has a cell phone. How the fuck does that work now? Like, you know, that, it's just, <laughs> we living in now, though. No, bro, yeah. If Pudge is not in the car, I call him. Like, how hard is it? Bro, when you get to the airport, that, see, that's where that whole home alone shit wouldn't work. When we get to the airport as a family, we know if a kid's not there. I packed five suitcases in the car. How am I not going to know if I don't hand the kid a suitcase after we get there, we got a problem. Like, how the hell is this? I don't understand that whole Home Alone shit. Hey, listen, white folks do things different with their kids. And their brother, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Here's what I can tell you how Nana raised us. If you pack the suitcase. If Nana packed you a suitcase, or in our case, we couldn't afford one. It was a gym bag, right? Full of your clothes. She packed three bags. We get out the station wagon, she hands off three bags. If she only hands off two bags, then we got a problem. There's no, oh, Kevin! No, there's, where the fuck is he? I'm gonna fuck him up, but I do find him. There ain't none of that shit. That's why Kevin is not his lesson. Yeah, oh, Kevin! Like, what? Nigga! Man, please, let me tell you something. If my grandmother looking for me, and we not getting on a plane, I better not come back to that house. I better not come back to that house, because I can't. I'm in trouble. I done fucked up Nana's whole trip because I wasn't there to get out of the plane. No, no. I'm just nah. saying this in this situation. It's about what three home alones with this nigga, right? Yeah, like <laughs> he didn't did have the same it, people trying to harm him. Yes, Melo. They bought a gun Mello, in 2024 it, to protect your home. You ain't got a Melo. It is time to call Melo. It's time to call <laughs> fucking DCF <laughs> on the McAllisters. It's time. <laughs> It is time to call DCF on the McAllister. It's time. It's neglect at this yes, point. the McAllister need to be in jail. How many kids are they going to let stay home by himself and be harassed by burglars who can't get the job done? Like, what the hell? Enough. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Well, let's do it like we're going to do this here. All right. Anybody on the panel think this movie should happen, this reboot? 
I don't care uh, for it. Not really care for behind it though. Zero. What movie? What movie are we talking about? Back, uh, to, back the to the back future. To the reboot. future. The um, reboot. Take care of that. I mean, yeah, but um, this for I, I got the trilogy on 4K though. Just for the record. <laughs> Rick, you should be happy. Break your physical, Rick. That's I got. Oh flex. my man, that's Ooh, the weird he got flex. The I got the original in 4K. Yo, yo, that's, yo, guess what? I got it on laser disc, bro. That shit, that's the size of a. Well, good luck with that, Rick. Oh, uh, bro, I don't even think my laser disc machine. Well, it, it uses the um. The, the the yellow, white, and red fucking uh, analog shit to get hooked up, and no TVs yeah, nowadays yeah, have yeah, that. Put that, put that in the storage bin or something. Nah, I, keep, nah, I keep it out in case a burger think it's a bomb or something. You know, Iran's coming to get us, so we got to be ready. So, oh, so, <laughs> all right. So, let's talk about right, Disney man. Plus. <laughs> let's talk about oh, Disney geez. Plus. Um, Disney Plus is planning to introduce channels into its service. They will function the same as old school TV channels with different channels for different genres like Marvel and Star Wars. So. Oh, okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, I particularly don't like the direction Disney Plus is going in. And I'm going to tell you something. If I didn't have it tied to my Hulu and my ESPN, I would have canceled it already. I'm being honest with mm. you. Yeah, I, w- I would have canceled it because I'm not happy with the content that I'm getting. The prices just keep going up and up and up. Um, I don't get any discount. The only thing I get is these things called um, Disney Rewards for being subscribed every month. That's all I get. Mm-hmm. And uh, we haven't been to Disney World since Nana was living. So, yeah, the points are adding up, but when are we going to use them? You know, I mean... It, 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 alligators. Yeah, it, yeah. remember they, that kid got killed at Disney? The alligator? Yeah, but uh, um, not, no joke about it, but his body was still intact, though. So that was a, that's a blessing in his own right. Yeah, though, yeah, they were, able, they were able to put him to rest. Yeah, they, but they killed the gator that get it, cut him open, and they, and they found it. But yeah, well, I, remember, I don't agree with that, man. Well, no, no, because a gator can't chew. He swallows his food whole. He's just a little kid. No, no, it's just the whole killing the animal after doing well, something that is supposed well, to do. It, 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 the body, or the body, hold on, Rick. Was the body inside the alligator? That's why they yes. cut him open? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, so they had yeah. to. Then, yeah, they had to. Point. But, Melo, I understand this. And, and, and humans, that's poetic justice. They feel as though nah. they killed the monster, <laughs> and that's going to give the family. Now, yeah. listen, now, let me ask you this, though, Melo. Now, God forbid, if it was somebody you were close to, and they got eaten by an alligator. Wouldn't you? Do you want to see that alligator like in an enclosure and say, "Hey, this is the alligator that ate somebody close to Mello"? Or do you want the thing dead and it turned to a pair of boots? I want to turn it to a pair of boots. Uh, me, actually, neither. The, the goddamn gator shouldn't even be in the goddamn enclosure. If a it gator be out ate my baby, I want a belt and a pair of boots. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> That's what that I ain't want. Change I mean, the fact that your baby was ate by a gator. Like, no, it's not. He should have paid club more attention oh, to Yes, his exactly. Child, exactly. Bro. Did what it's supposed to do. Listen, Eric, Evan, and Ethan, yeah, yeah. I don't let and them get He drowned in death, too, from so that was a crazy thing. Damn. Yeah, yeah. I think that's how they got and he probably him. was calling out for mama. And yeah, like, bro, imagine that. Say, like, that man. Parker, you're on to something. Here. Ma- that has to be the worst feeling of a child. When they're in trouble, when they're at the end of their life, and they're screaming for their parents, and they're not there to help them, like bro, I never want to be that fucking parent. Never, uh, no, like that. No, that no, is that's, that's, that that's, is fucking brutal. I never, I never want to bury a child. I'll take my own life or fucking. It was a small alligator too, though, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, so. yeah. He wasn't the big one because he was the big one. He had been parts everywhere. Or you can tell he yeah. did it alone because if he ate him near another gator, they would have ripped the kid in part. You know, they that's what they do. Mm. Yeah, so you and know. probably ate the gator as well. Better not big up alligators. Right? Yeah, yeah, well they do that too. The Komodo dragons do the same. Yeah, thing. yeah, the survival of the fittest. But hey, um, we ended the Back to the Future. Oh no, we're talking about Disney Plus now. Disney Plus again. I would have canceled it a long time ago, man. It, it is getting too expensive. I'm gonna be honest with you. The only time my family watches it when there's a big series coming out because we know they don't make the DVD for. It. I'm gonna be honest. Listen, I hate to sound like a mm. fucking prick. But if I knew a DVD date, or release date of these Disney shows, again, this is pre Watchtower. I'm talking here. If we didn't talk about them, I wouldn't get the yeah. stuff until it came out on DVD. I honestly would. Mm. It's not worth the twenty six dollars that I'm paying. Now, do I? Damn. Even, no, it's twenty six dollars. Oh, you yes. say you got a package? Though. Yeah. yeah. I, well, I, what I was saying about Disney Plus, Rick. It's too much. I mean, I don't okay. see the ultimate big value. 
outside of if you're a Simpsons or Star Wars. I know you got some Marvel shows. Some are hit or miss. Well, X Men ninety seven. Really... Like that's the reason. X Men ninety seven. Like yeah, again, yeah. I can't watch X Men ninety seven if I don't have Disney Plus. Or what you can just order stuff Carter Blind though. That'd be, be um so so like okay, I only gonna rock with this. I order this X Men ninety seven, boom, give me that, right? Or Star Wars or whatever. You know, something like that. So there you got it. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know, bro. I, I just think that the price is hiking. And now they want to add channels. You think they're adding these channels for fucking free? No, they're gonna say, Hey, to get this channel is seven ninety nine a month. Or cause you know who else is expensive, but at least they give you packages. Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime is, I think it's like $150 for the year now. I'm pretty sure. That's, that's, that's a super, the, the highest tier package, though. But with the basic uh, thing, whatever, like, you just going to do, yeah. So Yeah, but it, think uh, about I can it. see why. I don't I know why. See, yeah. you just buy the premium because if you pay month to month, yeah. it's going to cost more than what the premium is. Yeah. Mm. It, it is. You, that's why, I, bro, when I get my PlayStation Plus, I buy it for the year. When I get Apple TV, I buy it for the year. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, bro, you save so much money. Movie Club. All of that. You yeah. realize you save almost over a hundred bucks if you buy PlayStation Plus Premium by the year instead of the month. You buy by the month, bro. You you, can... hey, yo, you know what, Rick? I think that depends how much you play. Because sometimes I be I always get it by the year too. I ain't got. To, I always do it by the year. But I don't online game like that. I be feeling like I be getting myself. I might as well stop. Yeah, but for they, the but but Smoothie, they be having those PlayStation exclusives. They eventually come to PS Plus after they're like a year old or so. So. You know, you're gonna get the director's cut of fucking um, Ghost of Tsushima. You're gonna get the director's cut of um, uh, 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 the Norman Reedus game. I, I gotta keep forgetting it. The, Kojima's game. Well, yeah. well, you know, Death Stranding. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's worth it. Because you know, like me, it is worth it. If it's somebody like me, like you, because the last game I bought was Mortal Kombat. I've been playing everything else on, on PlayStation Plus. Yeah. Now here's where it's not worth it. The PlayStation Plus. Now I get it, obviously for online or whatever, yeah. but it's not worth to the guy who buys. The first party exclusive shit day one because you know that's kind of if you don't buy the PlayStation bangers day one and you just buy like COD or or Minecraft PlayStation Plus highest tier is like the best shit for you because you, yeah you know, yeah that, that's like the best I know it's not gaming but man you need to just have a native app for PC where you can download those games stop playing Sony that's that's all I'm saying right yeah. like you feel me yeah, yeah stop playing no doubt about it so. Now, with that being said, Levon, what else? Let's talk about you? let's talk about X Men. All right, just, all right. Well, oh, we, got, yeah. we forgot Peacemaker. We're gonna go, we're gonna go Peacemaker. Oh, oh okay. Um, Pe Peacemaker season two is in production. All right, so there you go, folks. Yeah. Peacemaker two Peacemaker. is Peacemaker. Oh, uh, buddy, with the helmet. I got somebody, you. Okay. Somebody's yeah, echoing. Yeah. Somebody's echoing. Hey, I think that's nice. Nice. Crazy. Somebody echoing. It's been like two move. years already. So, all right, so. Peacemaker is in production, which you got to believe that because John Cena looked in good shape when he came out at WrestleMania. He looks a little smaller, though. Uh, John Cena, he's not as big as he used to be because, remember, he was bigger than I'm The Rock. Back. He, he's not bigger than The Rock anymore. The Rock's bigger than him now. I don't remember him being bigger than The Rock. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he, he, he was at one time bigger yeah, than The Rock. He was yeah, strong, one of the strongest guys in WWE, hell though. Yeah, like, he was bigger than The Rock, bro. Like, his arms and his, his he was bigger. But, he was just as big as Brock Lesnar, Cena, though. Yeah, he, he was just, um, Brock was just probably taller. Might have been taller yeah, maybe. Brock was just taller. But yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but Rock is bigger than, like, Cena now. I'm like, holy shit, look at this guy. He's fucking on this stuff. So they both be in the gym, though. You know, they be pumping. Thrill Ali like, said, PS like Plus is not worth it because it don't give you access to both PC and console versions without buying both. Ooh, he's got a point there. That's where the Xbox uh, PC Game Pass is. I mean, listen, PC Game Pass is a better deal than just console Game Pass. I know everybody thinks that the games that come to console Game Pass come to PC, they don't. You know, some game, like Death Stranding was on PC Game Pass. Obviously, it's not on the console game pass so, yeah shout out to game pass for that absolutely but if you're a microsoft fan game pc game pass be right there alley though i mean most you got a gaming most, pc most sony people not pc gamers anyway so it really wouldn't matter they still get nice value yeah we saw that most with, X, we, we saw Xbox that with the sales of fucking hell divers too we know exactly he said that's because oh, he stop using the needle. <laughs> LOL. Hey, 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 listen, bro. I, listen, if one thing that Rick does, it, great to said it seemed to stop using the needle. If one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give it to y'all right down the middle. You know, shout out to Marlon Gaming. I'm sorry his channel got hacked. Um, let me get a combo. Oh man! But he was doing things that the Rick's not happy about. So listen. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're gonna move on to X Men '97. Now this episode here. 
reminded me a lot of the Infinity War. God damn. This was brutal. Look, they make a Magneto join up as like in Rogue here because Rogue broke up with Gambit. Movie, you echoing, brother. You got some. Oh, my bad. Yeah. My bad. I got you. I got you. I got you. Hey, so, so check this out. So not, not, she broke up with Gambit. Well, Gambit was a crying ass dude. Anyway, first of all, it's about time Gambit stopped being a simp because you know he was just it, it just bro, it doesn't fit. Like it's Magneto's girl now. There's nothing else to, to yeah, bro. What episode are we talking about? I just saw uh, Epi- I episode, episode seven, I think it is. I mean, was I that the last episode? Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, the last one. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit ended, nigga. Yeah, so so now here's what I did like about I'll tell you what I didn't like. I first go about what I did, and there's more likes than not likes. Speaking of likes, we only have twelve likes. And forty seven you fuckers came in here. Can you please hit the fucking like button? Now Hey, 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 hey. I liked. Yeah, but I didn't ask for like that. I didn't ask. I, uh, no, that's not true. I didn't say if you hit the like button, God's gonna bless you. I didn't say if you hit the like button, you should get baptized. The ring didn't say that. So now, so here's what I like. I like the fact that Rogue finally broke up with Gambit. She said, "Remy, this ain't it. You can't touch me, and I can't touch you. I can't feel your heartbeat." I think that's what she said, and that's some pretty deep shit to say. You know, he's already gay. Actually, Rick, you're wrong. Gambit is the one who told her that this ain't going to work. We should remain friends. So, well, mm. wait, hold on. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. He said that. Now, I'm going to tell you why that's not true. And I, and I like what you're right, because he did have dialogue. Now, keep in mind, he said this after she came out of the room with her clothes off with Magneto. It, mm, oh. Okay. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> follow me. Follow me here. So, he said that after she comes out of the room with her clothes off, after she finally told him that they were a thing and how much in love she was with him, after, when she said he was right, when he went to Genosha and they saw the mutants playing together like black people and stuff, like we had, like, Black Wall Street. It was just like that, Genosha was. Just like Black Wall Street. It was great. So, now he's like, maybe we only be friends. He wouldn't get no pussy anyway. So, listen. She wanted to be with a man who can touch her, who can kiss her, who can feel, like, literally touch her, and he wasn't fitting the bill. Now, at the end, she did realize, like, well, Remy was right with the touching thing, but, yeah, that's after this motherfucker about to die. Well, no, no, before the attack. But, yeah, you know, women got that emotional thing going on there, though, but the whole thing is, it, it might seem like he broke up with her, but, bro, he was being a simp for the first six episodes, and he finally got a set and said, look, we just be friends then, Mona. I mean, what were you gonna be? Besides, but think about this, Deuce Deuce. This is his girlfriend, right? Mm-hmm. All, all he can do. Oh, he, hold up, hold up. So you so listen to what you just said. This mm-hmm. is girlfriend. So no, you're no, mad just, at him. I'm, no, no, no. Over I'm girl? running, bro. I'm just running down the whole shit, and I'll tell you why. No, 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 no. Hold on, not cut off. He was a simp when he seen her in the room. He knew Magneto was here. Yes, yes, he like, yes, he let yes, yes, yes. And that's what I said when when freaking Deuce Deuce was like, "Well, she broke my heart." I said, "Yeah." After he come out with her pants down out of the fucking move out of the room and shit, and listen to this. Rogue is a glorified stripper. He can't touch her. Oh. All he can do is spend money on her. It's been time. Bro, he's simping. Yeah. That's not his girl. That's, no, that's Eric's me? girl. <laughs> that's Eric's girl. I wish you was Eric's girl. That's Eric's girl. So what's he talking about? His magnetism was able for me to touch him. That's what she said. And gave it sitting there. What are you looking like that? This dude is grabbing his pole all freaking episodes. And Rogue can't grab his. With a pair of gloves on? Look, we're not, we're not, gonna, we're not gonna slander Gambit because this was a dope ass episode. For it him. was, but I'm we're just saying, gonna, I'm no, 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 no. The Gambit arc of him it. being a, oh, he's dead now. The arc of him being a simp is finally over. Dark Lord Fusion is here. Gambit didn't have the balls to approach Magneto. I mean, bro, he could have easily. Well, I don't know. Can he grab Magneto's neck and charge it up and and, and slam up? I mean, he broke big, blew a big ass sentinel. All I'm saying is. It's about time Remy got some guts and said, hey, you know what? This ain't going to work, man, me. I spent a lot of money on these hoes. I never even get a hand job. So that's what he said. He said, I'm up out of here. Now, there is also some scandal going on in this episode. Finally, Jean Grey put the lips of Wolverine. Finally. Shout out to my man Wolverine for finally getting a kiss a Jean Grey. Shout out to Logan. About time. Jesus. 
Wolverine finally, and the Rick means finally got a chance to kiss Jean Grey. And what does this dumb motherfucker do? I know you ain't mean it, Jean. You're confused. Like, oh, man. Him and Gambit been hanging around too much. This shit is just not right. What is what is going on with these Marvel characters? They have turned these motherfuckers. They did to Gambit and Wolverine what they did to Tony Stark and Iron Man 2. They didn't make him a womanizer anymore. They wanted him to settle down with pepper fucking pots. This is the bullshit that I'm talking about. Damn! Wolverine been chasing Gene as long as LeBron been chasing a freaking fifth ring. And what is going on here? He got the girl right there, underwater. She did, uh, he can't do it. The one little kiss he telling her to back off. I don't know about y'all, but I think that's just terrible. I mean, what is going on with the relationships in here? Because somebody... Hey, 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 the real. First off, it's horrible. It's two genes. Cyclops can't have both of them. Wolverine might as well take one of them. It's two of them. <laughs> yeah, but the one you know, Cyclops won. Smoothie, <laughs> <point. Look>, Smoothie <laughs> brought up a, a good point. There was two genes, right? So my issue with this episode... We saw a previous episode where Gene was in the X-Mansion and, was, and um, the clone was in the X-Mansion and was wreaking havoc. If you on Genosha, why are you not using Gene Grey powers and wreaking facts, havoc on all the Facts, like, good, I bro. a big issue with Good that. fucking sorry. call. Now, that was, that, now, that was, that was, now, you explained it better than I did, but that was one of my don't likes that I had there. I like the fact that Gambit finally stood up for himself. And I got tired of being dragged along. Like, it was just, it was fucking horrible to watch. Like, finally. But, yeah, you're right. That whole thing. And then Scott get big balls all of a sudden. And he's apologizing to Gene. I mean, we know you had the baby already. Like, what the fuck? I mean, it is what it is. Well, well, because he, he kind of cheating like um, psychically with, with his... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, buddy, yo, buddy was out there sending secret text messages. <laughs> yo, yo, buddy, yo. Cyclops, yo, maybe Cyclops not the Boy Scout we thought he was. You know what I'm I saying? Don't know. Bro, he gonna walk up in that room, Gene, I want a threesome. Like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna tell him? Are you gonna tell him? I don't know, Gambit might... Well, no, Gambit's dead now. But, Gambit, but yo, that shit... And then, then Cable makes an appearance. Nathan Summers himself. Like, God damn, this episode was low. Bro, there was so many good things here. It was hard for me to nitpick. You know, other dude just brought that up. I mean, look, I don't know if these guys are really dead. I'm still waiting for Storm to get her powers back. So I don't know how this shit's going to move. But, man. Well, I'm going to tell you this, Rick. I read an article the other day where the showrunner, the, the guy that got fired before the shit even started. Yeah. He said that um that's just the appetite that's just the appetizer for what's to come in the rest of the season. I'm like, God damn, what the fuck? Now, let me ask you this. How long is the season? How many episodes? Because we're at ten, seven. ten episodes. Oh ten episodes. fuck. So you know what they did? We got five more, Rick. We got five more. Oh man. Man, it's only five more weeks. Oh man. And, and they job peep too, because a lot of people might have missed it. When the fireworks show was going on, when they first go to the scene in the sky, it's the watchers looking at them. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, I did see that. Somebody pointed that out on Reddit. I did see that. Oh, I didn't see. Yeah, it. the watchers yeah, looking at them. Somebody pointed it out. Yo, that bro, this X Men show, bro. Now finally, we have retribution for the MCU sucking ass for the last freaking three years. Well, six years, really. You know, if you think about it, because I can't count Endgame and Infinity War. Those are that was all one arc, so we gotta treat it as such. You know, that that's just what that is. But they've been they've been struggling, you know. And um I think this X-Men ninety seven, although it does some things wrong, it does a lot of things right. And I think that uh, you know, there's something to be said for that. And I'm happy about it. Um Batman I'm not too impressed with that shit. I'm not gonna hold y'all. The last episode I liked it, but I'm not too impressed with that shit. No it's like a soap opera. Well, well, hell, it's that's like a soap it, opera. Well, that's what it should be, right? Think about it. We watch it for the action drama. For me. Hey, bro, bro, listen. You you telling me you couldn't wait for Gambit to finally fucking stand up for himself? He's been watching it, bro. We seen him come out the room, draws down, gloves off. I'm like, bro, he's got to say something. He wouldn't. He he kept. They were in a plane together and everything, and he still didn't want to face it. Like, bro, I'm like, yo, you gotta fucking do it. Like you gotta say something. And when he does that, he and two minutes later he's dead. Right after that. Yeah, 
I mean, yeah. yo, listen. <laughs> yo, the simping was keeping him alive, bro. <laughs> Think about look how hard he tried. Like he was just, you know, he, he went, he went, he went overboard. He, he really, really. Yeah, I think Professor X gonna come back this season. Uh, uh, maybe next season. I think maybe at the finale, you might see him come back. Yeah, probably finale, right? Yeah, the finale, definitely finale. Because my he, question is, do y'all think Magneto dead? How no. Uh, I think they're gonna probably do that transfer into a different body type shit. Where you know, because I don't know. I reason why I say that is because they mentioned that Eric wearing his helmet, so Professor couldn't find him. Now, I don't know how deep they're going to go into Magneto's abilities, but he is a telepath as well. You know, a lot of people don't know that or they haven't done their homework. Magneto's a telepath, not of the magnitude that the professor is, but he can use Cerebro and find people and all that other shit. You know, he can do it. So I don't know if they're going to touch on that. I mean, they did a good job. I mean, it was nice to see Nightcrawler like this. This episode had a whole lot of good things in there. You know, seeing my man Kurt had him talking German and everything. I was like, oh shit, they went, they pulled, and they had Magneto talking German. And I thought, I thought but I think they go, I think they're gonna bring him back. I think they're gonna bring Magneto again back because it seemed like the point of that episode was that Cable was supposed to come stop all that from happening. Yes, yes. I think Cable yes. gonna get back and stop that shit from happening. So I mean, hey, it, there, there's, there's a lot going on here, and Deuce Deuce said five episodes that hopefully. In the next five hours, we'll be able to, to figure this all out. So, you know, again, for me, I gave this episode a 10 out of 10. I fucking loved it. For the stuff that was wrong with it, I can't minus it a point for for that. It's not enough to make me say, well, I want to take a point away or anything like that. So I would gave this a 10 out of 10. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a harsher good. critic than you, Rick. I took yeah. two points off just because Oh, my of God. I'm sorry. Just because of Madeline Pryor being there and she didn't do anything. Like, and well, I was yeah, like, no. yeah. I no. mean, listen. No. I had to. I gave him a look. I gave him a fucking mulligan on that one. I get it. I gave him mulligan on that one, though. I did. I did. I'm saying she could have stopped half of that shit from happening. What? What? Come on, man. Like nah, that's true. Nah. That's true. Well, oh, Levon. Anybody else out there? Comment on episode seven. Before we end. No, episode show. five, bro. That was episode five. Oh, it was, no. Wait. Are you sure it's not episode seven? Yeah, I'm telling you, that was episode five, brother. Okay, I'm thinking of uh something else, episode seven. Yeah, he made it's only five episodes so far, so that was episode five. Yeah, all right. So yeah, right. I can't do math. Five and five is ten. Is all right? Yeah, I'm tripping. Yeah, it's definitely time to get something to eat. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the Watchtower at its new day, which is a Monday. Which will always be between five and nine o'clock. <laughs> I can't fucking give right. you. It depends on when fucking Pudge. Is. Rick, we told you it was gonna be more than an hour, right? Yeah, I know. You just can't help yourself. Bro. I can't help myself. I can't. You guys were capping for Marlon using Jesus for dollars. You know? Oh my God, who's capping for Marlon? <laughs> no, they was capping. His, his channel got hacked, and he was using Jesus to get that forty. No, million. but I'm gonna say this. Regardless, no. if, he, if he's saying using Jesus to get money, um, whatever that that. That's no reason for his channel to get hacked because you don't have to g donate or give to nobody though. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, I'm not gonna, you know, laugh at a person. Well, oh, you got this stuff hacked. I play, I play devil's that. advocate, and I really mean devil's advocate. Where, oh, yeah. where was yeah. his god when his channel was getting hacked? Hmm? Where was he? <laughs> I mean, hey man. Um, they say God allows things to happen. No, good they say the and, Lord give it. Things, the so. Lord take it away. Hey, it's hey, the God. Um, like <laughs> the <Bible> says, he's, <laughs> uh, he reigns on the just and the unjust. So hey, shout out to Marlon, That's brother. That. I'm I'm sorry that your your channel got hacked by Bitcoin or whatever, but just apologize to the Lord and you'll get all your stuff back. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, just don't fuck, don't don't listen i i don't like when people use god and donation or give and bless when they try to use that into a hot dog of like just sinning like bro you're gonna give you're gonna give don't mention scriptures or anything like that hey look this is what you say hey look i ain't got the money i'm trying to get this 4090 donate to me please like you guys help me get the rest of my shit don't say somebody needs to bless me or something like oh, that. Yeah. Just don't. Well, with that the first thing, been that been much more clearer, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, but, no yeah. Look, but I understand, understand, like, don't use God to guilt trip. Because be honest, the churches and all these they other do pastors they do, that. do that all the time. Yes, they do. I'm um, so yeah. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. So I, I, I um, agree with that. 
Yeah, don't mean, guilt nobody trying to give that, something. Bro, that's all like, I was saying. I didn't say what he did or that it should have happened or it was his fault. I, thought, I didn't say any of that. I just said, this is what he did, and it's mighty funny. This is what happened after that. I, I, liked, um, I liked the newest X-Men episode. All right, what do I you give it, it out neat. of 10? What do you give it out of 10, sir? A 9. nine. A 9? All right, so you gave it a 9. Yeah. Deuce Deuce gave it an 8. I gave it a 10. And Parker didn't watch it. Oh, so I'm okay. Zero. Okay. And, uh, I, I think smoothie. <laughs> smoothie, what'd you give it? What'd you give it? He said that was the only one he liked. He said he didn't like the other one. It was about seven point five. That shit got enough action for me, man. All right. So the rest of them was five. Easy. The rest of the episodes was five. He said so. He also, so this is his favorite episode here. And notice that it was at a party when they were serving bottles. So he felt right at home. <laughs> so this, is, this is why this movie like the fucking episode. I'm fucking telling you right now. Uh, and I, oh, oh, yeah, it's movie since you were here. Listen, I know the difference between a sequel and a reboot. Stop it. You know, stop it. I, I think you hurt Parker's feelings. Remember? No, like, listen here. Like, the Parker. Man of Steel is a reboot from Superman 2. So, we want to, so yeah, I do know the difference between you know, a sequel no, listen, and a I'm reboot. I'm going to tell you why I said it. Because they was talking about Back to the Future. He was like, oh, it ain't been the original. What about Friday? Look at Friday. And no, I was bringing... Oh, see, you, you misunderstood. I was bringing up ideas of, like, um, where it's like they're, sometimes the original still trumps the sequels oh, or whatever. Shit. So I thought about the original Friday. Can you yeah, hold on. If you... Oh, yeah, can you be oh, quiet? But listen, oh, oh, I, that's why well, you I'm see me uh, mention... Hold on. I mentioned also Stomp to York. We see that like, they, they made a number of reasons. Like, care a, about a no sequel. damn Stomp to York. You talking about real movies, Parker? No, listen, something y'all was a classic to me though. What? But then it came out a sequel to it, wasn't as good. My bad, as my good. bad. I forgot. Classic. This is coming from a black guy yeah. that watched all the Twilight movies and gave them all 10 out of 10. So wait a minute, hold up. This is let me get this straight. You rather Stomp watch Yard, Twilight, right? but you won't watch X-Men 97? God damn it, Parker. Uh, 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 everybody takes it different. X-Men 97 hey, if you haven't even watched it yet. So I'm not bringing this man. Man. Everybody Let knows, Parker like, that's the OG, right? Because that's just the OG. How, <laughs> how can you make that judgment if you hit that? Sit down and continue to play Pac-Man and post up. Be Pac-Man. Oh, man. Okay, okay. My point is, like, how can you make that judgment if you haven't even watched it? It's not a reboot. It's a continuation of the OG X-Men. Okay? Oh, lay my through. A venom at him, Stop it. Sit down, nigga. Oh, man. Okay, but still, like, oh, how, how can you make that judgment? Levon says, what do you, you, you get? Uh, you, uh, it's considered one of the greatest, like, animations, though, if you look. We talking about the X Men in the nineties. What are you talking about? That's the reason why do X Men ninety seven. If it was, they wouldn't be using that template. So sit down. X Men ninety two. X Men ninety two. Okay, okay. And so uh, on. So yeah. So sit your ass down. So we're going to play with Ren and Stimpy. Mm, mm. I mean, I mean like, still, but who's around there? Someone stop it, lay by. <laughs> you know, don't don't fuck up to me, nigga. Don't do that. I'm just saying you need to watch the show. That's all I'm saying. But uh, no, I mean, yeah, okay. All right. So that being said, I want to thank everybody that came through. Even my mm. panel, as uh, weird <laughs> and as they were today, one guy was a preacher. Uh, one guy tried to belittle <laughs> another guy. One guy. Continue that to believe you. that primates are, you know, oh, uh, but you you are a primate, right? Uh, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. You, but, but I didn't look, come. Rick, you getting part of the up? And, yeah. Listen, you you fall in that category. Hey, I, you like, I hey, did but you not are say that we are cousins to those motherfuckers. That's what you said. All right. I mean, but they said a similar um, ancestor though. What? So in some sense, you will be cousins. In the yeah, same. Right. Cause you're really so here we go. But anyways, thanks for Sit watching the show, down. guys. <laughs> um, I want you guys to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so that we can be yeah. notified of all yeah. notifications of the Ricky Brown Town channel. Yeah, I'm I'm writing those podcast. articles bro. for the yeah. latest. You know, don't buy digital yes. videos. Yes, yes, and I will never use the Lord yes. to get donations. And we will see you allegedly. Peace out. Peace out. Or he'll work for a pastor that get the.